Hey guys, Rachel Folden of Folden Fast Pitch here. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about failure. Over the last couple days, I flew to Florida to try out for Team USA. They had an open tryout. I'm 30 years old. Team USA is the one mountaintop that I've never gotten to cross as a ball player. So I thought, why not? Why would a 30 year old softball player who's been retired for five years even throw their hat in the ring to try and play on Team USA? Why wouldn't I do it? And I knew it was going to be a long shot going into it. If I made this team something, all the stars would have to align. I would have to knock the socks off of everybody. I had to know if I was good enough. I had to put myself up against players and know if I was good enough. And if at the end I wasn't good enough, then I said, okay, that's fine. I can handle it. So I trained for it. I, I signed up at the end of October and I did it full force. I did not half-ass this project. I hit live one to two times a week for eight weeks straight. I probably had 125 at bats between October and December to try to get ready for this. I spent a lot of time and effort training and I got two bunt throws to first base, two bunt throws to second, two bunt throws to third, four throws to second base, and eight pitches off of a pitching machine to hit. And that was it. I did three months of work for this small little tiny opportunity. Well, I didn't make the team and that's okay. I have no regrets for training for it. I am a better coach because of this process. It was kind of nice to train with some of my players and put my player hat on and give them a player's perspective. I am more relatable to the individual player now because I have tried something and I have failed it. And that's what the sport is. Now I have a test subject to understand how to implement softball specific training. And now I actually know that it works. The motivating and underlying factor for this entire process was at the very least, I'm gonna become a better coach. And at the very most, I get to play on Team USA. What if, what if that went well? That would have been the coolest experience. If it didn't go well, I still get a pretty cool experience out of it anyway. I was driven by this quote, and I remember hearing this years ago, which is, it is better to have tried and failed than to not try at all. The journey that I went through to get to this process, I learned a lot, guys. I am so excited and fired up as a coach after this process. I have never been so excited to fail in my entire life because of all of the lessons that I've learned. The reason why I wanted to make this video and the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys, this experience of failure, is because you are going to try things and you're going to fail things. You are going to attack things with your entire being and you're going to fail them. But the importance is not that you succeed or fail. The success is in the trying. You have to try. You have to to attack your goals. You have to give it all you got because in the end, that's all we have. All we have is all we have. The amount of time that you're gonna put in to this softball thing or this sports thing is astronomical. It is gonna take up so much of your time and it's gonna consume so much of your energy. And some of you are gonna hang your hopes on, I wanna go to this school or I wanna go to that school or I wanna play for this team or I wanna play for that team. And you're going to miss your goal. Sometimes hard work is just not enough. Sometimes you have to actually be good and you have to actually be talented, but let's not take our eyes off of that process that got us there. Let's not take our eyes off of the journey that got us there because you're gonna learn some pretty cool things along the way. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Fold and Fast Pitch. Make sure you check us out on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Fold and Fast Pitch as well. And stay tuned for the next video. Remember, it's better to have tried and failed than to not have tried at all.